The three words only poor people use. Since when I was a little boy, I've always loved to have many friends. Though at a time in my life, I understood that I had to be selective about people I hang with. I still understand that, even though some people are poor, they still have some good virtues I can learn from. So, I keep a few friends who are smart but poor, even though I spend more time with my friends who are smart and rich. Now, this is what I've come to discover after years of dealing with both rich and poor friends of mine. They use different words. When I visit my friends who are doing well financially, there are certain words I never hear from them. Never. Not even once. However, when I visit my smart friends who are broke, the exact words my rich friends never use are the words these people use. I'll share these three words with you in this video. But first, if you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here it is. Every single poor person I know usually say, nobody helps me or something similar to these three words. Poor people usually believe that they need help. They usually look out for someone to rescue them. They usually point fingers at someone or something that is stopping them. Their poverty is never their fault. Someone is usually to be blamed. For instance, sometimes last year, one of my family members called me to ask for money and when she was trying to persuade me to give her money, she said, you see, nobody is helping me. This lady was 31 and she still expected someone to help her. <laughs> really? This is my personal experience. Whenever I meet with my rich friends, they usually talk about the new products they are trying to create to help others and make money, the new books they are reading to learn how to become a better person, the mistake they made because they didn't know what they ought to have known and that goal they have for the next one year. Everything my rich friends talk about is usually how they can change their life. They never expect any external miracle. Even if they need someone to help or partner with them, they will first figure out what they can give the person before they will get from such person. Whenever I meet with my poor friends, however, the opposite is the case. They talk about how their employers don't pay them well, how they want to fight for a raise, how the government's policies is affecting them, how things are expensive, how the economy is bad and how they need some kind of help. When I compare these two worlds, this is what I see. Those who become rich always take responsibility and those who become poor expect someone to care for them. The World and the Jungle Listen to me, the world is a jungle. I've understood this for many years and today, I still see many people who are far older than me yet they don't understand this simple truth. Listen very well, the world is a jungle. Nobody cares about you and nobody even knows that you exist. If you think someone is out there who wakes up to think about you, you are probably deceiving yourself. If you have a life to live, you have to live it. If you have a dream to achieve, you have to get out and run. If you want your life to change, it's all about you. Don't ever sit down and wait for help. It's not coming. But shouldn't we help each other? A few days ago, I read a comment on one of our videos. The commenter said that he wanted to start a business but nobody in the country is helping him. That's typical of what most people say and there's a problem about this. The problem about this is that nobody helps you because of you. People help you because of themselves. Let me repeat this. Nobody helps you because of you. People help you because of themselves, because of what they can get in return. It may be financial gain, material or even emotional gain but in any way, people only help you because of what they can get in return, not because they care about you, because nobody cares about you. If we understand this, then our strategy will change. Take for instance, if you need money to start a business, what should you do? Most people simply go around appealing to other people's mercy. I've done it in the past and I can tell you it's a waste of time because people are not as merciful as you may want to think. The best way to get others to help you is to show them that helping you is going to be a blessing to them. Let me repeat this. The best way to get others to help you is to show them that helping you is going to help them in return. You can just ask people to help you and expect that they will help you. 
First, start that your business idea, no matter how small or difficult. Go ahead and get started. I know it's difficult, I've been in that shoe before, but that's the only way. Do all you can, make all the sacrifices you can, make all the mistakes you can, fail as much as you can and one day, you will discover a new way to do what you're doing which may lead you into creating something unique that the market really loves and just when you start making some money, you can now reach out to people for help. At this stage, you have two assets which everyone in the world respects. First, the faith in yourself. The fact that you could stand up and dare life shows others that you have faith in yourself. The fact that you could go ahead and start that business with little money is a proof that you believe yourself and your idea. Everything in life is contagious, including belief. So, when you show the world that you believe in yourself, the world believes in you in return. This is a great asset. The second asset you have is the asset of failure. You can call it experience, but trust me, people unconsciously respect your failures. Some fools may criticize you for failing, but you can be sure that people that matter really respect the fact that you dared life and failed. Kevin O'Leary said, I'd rather invest in a man who has failed than a man who has everything going with him. Because people that matter know that failure brings valuable experience and wisdom, they see you as much more valuable if they know you've tried and failed many times. The third asset you have is that, aside from the courage to start and your failures, you now have a product that market really wants to pay for. From my experience, I can assure you that if you are strong enough to go through the above three stages in anything, you'll see the entire world rushing to give you more resources than you need. I know what I'm talking about because I've played this game for more than a decade. When I went to the business world, I had no money and nobody was willing to give me any money. However, 8 years after, I had an idea for a company and I raised money than I wanted. In fact, I had to systematically reject a friend who wanted to invest with me because I already had more than enough money. Stop thinking like a victim What I've observed is that most people of the world think as if they are in bondage, just as if they are victims of some system, just as if they have got no power to change their lives. This is not true because you are a god. Every one of us is 100 times more powerful than we think we are. We can change anything we hate about our life, we can create our desired life, we can even change the world. Yes, it won't be easy but we have enough strength to overcome whatever comes our way because we are gods. Smart but poor At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that some of my friends are smart but poor. How can anyone be smart and still be poor? Well, some people are very brilliant but they think that they cannot become anything except someone helps them. These people can be compared to a lion that is scared of a human being. What this lion doesn't know is that it has the power to conquer the human if only he will try. Don't just be smart in the head, get out and fight for what you deserve. Don't wait for things to happen, stand up and make it happen. Wait no more for someone to help you, be the helper you need. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.